good and bad news. So I've got the head studs installed. I've got the OmniPower 4 bar map sensor installed. And I turned up the boost and I got it, you know, kind of the tune roughed in. It's not perfect. Uh, started off a little lean. I think last time I checked, I was like at 12 point oh ish i took out even more timing just to be safe but um my turbo seems to be going out it's smoking a shitload and also um when i make a couple runs back to back it starts to push coolant so i've got a couple issues that are coming up with running higher boost but uh yeah got it part of the game gotta pay to play right so i think what it is i checked my coolant and it's not bubbling at idle, which would indicate like a leaking gasket. It seems to only be doing it under boost. Um, so what I probably just need to do is get a quality gasket, like a, a Cometic head gasket. And um, just torque the shit out of the studs, I guess. Because I do have a cheapy head gasket. That's, that's probably what it is. It's probably that cheap head gasket I, I use. I think I use the Felpro. Um, yeah, so anyways, before the turbo fully 100% dies, I'm gonna go ahead and make a pull and get a little bit of data logging in and show you how it feels on, I don't know if I told you, but it's on 16 pounds right now, 16 PSI. And it pulls pretty damn good. Uh, so let me get my Honda tuning suite up and going. Oh, and it sounds like a blue, uh, an exhaust manifold gasket. So yeah, this car is just full of problems right now. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Come on, let's see. Get the data lock going. All right, so all I really care about is my AFR and VTEC. Now I do have the maps kind of roughed in right there. It's close. I could probably use a little bit more fuel, honestly, but really I just want to show you how it pulls. It pulls really good. Let's go for a drive. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Can't really talk because I got the camera in my mouth, so I'm just going to be driving and uh, not saying much. But it's kind of worth it because it's a cool point of view. So what I'm going to do... I've got this U-turn to make here. I'm gonna come back around, U-turn again, and then when I'm coming back to work is when I'm gonna get on it because if the car does blow up for whatever reason, at least I could uh, coast it or limp it back to work. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna just drive this little straight away and then get on it after the UE. After the Yui, it's go time. So when it does that, that means it's getting a little hot. I have this uh, overheat protection. If it gets to like 
205 or something like that it uh, engages like this uh, rev limiter it's kind of like um, just like a safety feature so yeah it's uh, getting a little hot so it probably pushed out a little bit of coolant but at least I have I'm using like every safety feature I can use on this thing to keep this motor together and that's one of them it's definitely a very nice feature to have but yeah this car is running crazy right now 16 pounds it feels great fastest Honda that I've been in for sure and I haven't been in very many Hondas probably just my own honestly let's uh, check the temp now it's at 192 so now now it should give me yeah now the the rev limiter isn't engaged okay yeah I can go in here and check my AFRs this is uh, the high cam table let's see started off at 10.7 11.5 11.4 and then it got a little lean at 7500 rpm right at red line it was 12.5 so i do need to add a fuel there but not too bad um yeah not too bad at all let's uh let me show you that overheat setting i'm talking about protection settings ect overheat I need to actually raise that, it's 200 degrees. Once it gets over 200, that uh, RPM cutoff thing engages. I'm a ninja. Oh, <laughs> you left yourself open. <laughs> Ow. Look at that bad boy. Look at that bad boy. Look at that bad boy. Dog, oh look at that bad boy. Look at that full bad Alright, so what this big massive wires and computer is, is um, it's a harness out of a 99 through 2002 Silverado. And it's a desirable harness computer. If you're going to do an LS swap, this is pretty much what you want to get. The reason is that um, this year range had the drive my cable throttle body and that's just a lot easier swap and uh, conversion to do if you're swapping into something else if you have the drive by actually the drive by cable was 99 through i believe 2003 and i think in 04 they started the drive by wire which is like the electronic auto body and if you're going to ls swap something with that you need to get the pedal and more wires and more harnesses and this and that and it's just more of a pain even if you want to go like aftermarket uh, intake manifolds it's easier to run aftermarket cable throttle bodies than aftermarket uh, electronic ones so yeah I'm, I'm pretty excited I got this I got it for a good deal I got it for just a little bit more than it would have cost to grab it from a junkyard but I didn't have to deal with all that mess because it's really hot and yeah I just didn't feel like going to the junkyard for all this so I just you know, paid a little bit more and it's all right here ready to go so pretty cool all right, so before we uh, head home, I need to stop by Home Depot. I've been working on tiling my garage and I just need a couple more boxes to finish it off. So yeah, I'm gonna stop by, pick up some black and white tile, head home and maybe finish that up in this video, but I don't know, we'll see. All right, you got a mask up, going to Home Depot. You got your mask, you got my mask. All right, let's go. All right, let's go.
probably like 80 tiles in to the four boxes I had of 120. And I think I'm done for it for one day. Um, so I did this whole section, did over there in that corner. I did under my work table a little bit, not against the wall, but just enough to where you can see it. I still need to get under that box. I laid down a couple under the uh, engine hoist and the stand. I need to go up against the wall there. But for the most part, it's a wreck now, I know. It's just about done. I just have to like trim it in, I guess. I, that's what I did here up to the edge. I had to cut the tiles down to make them fit and I'm kind of just gliding over them in my socks to make them make sure they're sticking. You gotta put some weight on them. So I'm just kind of sliding around. I need to trim in this side, this corner, cut some tile, go up against the wall. This is about to go. This desk is about to get out of here. So to free up some space. And yeah, I think that's just about it for this video. All right, as always, if you like the video, like, subscribe, comment below. Thanks for watching. See you next one. Later.